Around about the birth of Christ, the Romans came up with the concept of the mile. It's the distance covered by a thousand paces of a Roman legion. That empire falls, a bunch of other ones pop up in its place, but for 2,000 years of human history, people everywhere believe the same damn thing, that no human being can run that distance in less than four minutes. Ain't gonna happen. Impossible. God, I hate that fucking word. And it's a good thing I'm not the only one. So one day, this skinny kid in England says he's gonna take a crack at it. Now there are crummy conditions, wind, rain, a muddy track. They all say he's nuts, which is exactly what they've been telling me lately. But there he was, just like me, running straight into the wind. And after about three laps, that skinny Brit was starting to lose faith. Starting to wonder if maybe everybody was right. Maybe it just could not be done. But just as he was rounding the corner on that final stretch, he heard a roar. The crowd screaming for him to keep going, filling his sails with a second wind. And he crossed that finish line at three minutes, 59.4 seconds. And in that instant, a skinny limey shattered everything we thought we knew about human limitations. But why him? He wasn't the fastest runner in the world. He wasn't even a professional. He was a scientist, a doctor of neurology. And that's how he knew that the only real limitation wasn't in the body, it was in the mind. <laughs> 2,000 years since the invention of the mile, and nobody ran it faster than four minutes until Roger Bannister. Guess how long it took the next guy to do it? 46 days. And you remember his name, right? No? Yeah, me neither.